So I'm gonna show you how to be a more useful player from Palace on CS2 Mirage. So first things first, every single person that likes to go Palace needs to know this Molly. So you go right onto the left side of this pillar here, just get lined up, it's pretty loose, but just right in the center right here is fine. You're gonna to wanna to aim at the very top of this little angled part in the wall. And the second that you pass this doorway right here, you're gonna release. So you're just gonna aim right here and just do a simple left click release, just like this. It's gonna go down the ladder hole and Molly off all of under balcony, just like this. And now I'll show you a really good team safe flash you can throw as you exit. You can get lined up right with this crack and do a simple left click throw right at this little white smudge on the wall. It's gonna go all the way out here. It's really easy to peek with. And it's gonna blind anyone in jungle in you know, right in front of connector, up on stairs, even players playing back here on like triple or CT, it's still gonna get them just like this without much time to react. And fortunately, it's not gonna blind your teammates as they run out, as you can see just right here. And again, you should definitely be throwing this molly every single time your team is deciding to push out and take A. But I notice a lot of players tend to struggle with what to do after they throw this molly. If your team's done a really good execute to where, you know, you've got stairs, you've got jungle connector and even CT ticket smoked off, you may just want to peek out with your team, even without that flash that I showed, to where as they're pushing out of Tetris, you're able to peek out and get the right trades that need to go down. However, if there are some gaps, if your team's a little uncoordinated, if they haven't smoked off everything, it's probably a good idea to know all of these smokes from Palace just so that you can help out to fill the gaps. So if you get stuck into this corner right here, you can find the bottom black part of this ladder and just aim up into the middle of this kind of little brace here. So just right here and do a running throw the second your crosshair hits the black part of the ladder. So you just aim right here and do a run throw just like that. It's going to go all the way over to here and it's going to smoke off jungle connector without any gaps once it fills in after a couple of seconds. As you can see from right here, they can't really see anything once it fully fills in. Now, of course, a regular jungle connector smoke is gonna be better than this, but hey, this is better than nothing, especially if your team has, you know, forgot to throw a smoke or they just missed it. You just never know when you might need to throw this. While it's definitely risky to smoke off stairs from Palace, it can definitely be done. The easiest way to do that is just to come right along this back wall to where you can just kind of see this door up towards the top left of it. Just do a very light run throw just like this, and it's going to land right here on this side. It's not going to expand down into sandwich, and boom, you have stairs smoked off for your team. Again, it's kind of risky. There's a good chance you're going to get shot while doing it, but if you really feel like you need to do it, go ahead and throw it just like that. And if you want to smoke off CT, hopefully stairs is smoked off so you don't have to worry about this angle. But all you have to do is find, you kind of line up the right side of this door frame with the left side of this building, just like this. And you're going to want to find this little tip right here on this arch and just do a run through the second you get close to the door. That's going to go all the way out here. It's going to pop and drop right on top of CT ticket, just like this. Now, this isn't the ideal meta one because they could still jump on top of this box and kind of get an angle. But hey, it's still better than nothing, like I said. So this whole time we've been talking about an execute as your teammates are pushing out of Tetris, but what if you're lurking Palace and you're wanting to put a little pressure onto A when your team, you know, is maybe in a different area of the map. So if you can get up into this position here, there's a little corner right here you can get stuck into just like this, and you can come around and find this little dark smudge along the wall that I'm aiming at right here, right in the middle of it, do a simple left click throw. That's going to land right here into default, bloom in and allow you to peek onto site just like this without having to worry about all these different angles, whether it's CT ticket, back, triple, you know, Ninja right here in front of default, all these angles are completely smoked off so that you're able to kind of pick and choose the fights that you want to take, as opposed to having to worry about every single angle on a site. So yeah, I hope this utility helps you get out Palace a little more effectively in your future CS2 Mirage Premier matches. It's definitely helped me out a good bit, and I hope it finds you a few extra rounds in your next game.